Hey guys, welcome back. Andy and Chris here with Marksman Shooting Sports of Westfield, Indiana. Welcome back to Marksman TV. Today we have another gun store vlog for you. So like the last video, which by the way, I got a lot of feedback. You guys wanted us to bring this concept back. So I'm gonna try and do one of these about every week or every other week. Uh, anyway, we're gonna bring the camera around with us today and turn on the camera when cool things happen or show you some interesting products, give you guys an idea of what our day-to-day -day life is like. Anyway, if that sounds interesting to you, please stick around, it's coming up now. And I did want to take the time to show you guys this real quick. This is a CMMG Banshee 9mm. There's been a lot of press on these lately. I'm happy to finally get one in, especially with all the firearm shortages going on right now. They do retail around the $1,500 mark right now. I'm seeing them as high as about $1,700 on GunBroker. They do take detachable 33-round uh, stick Glock magazines. Uh, this one here is an Averton Bronze finish, but anyway, nice pistol braces. It's classified as a handgun. Very, very interesting firearms, very popular. Happy to get that in. Just wanted to show you guys an up close look at one. Kind of cool to put on the vlog. Okay, today I got in a shipment of 91 TS Carcanos and 9124s. You guys have seen these probably everywhere on the internet. There's some uh, information about these are basically coming in from two sources. There are the IO imported ones. Those are coming out of um, Africa. Africa. What's the country? I... Ethiopia. That's Ethiopia. What, that's it. Yeah. Coming out of Ethiopia and all those warehouses and the and the quality and the condition of those is really pretty poor. I've seen a lot of them. You know, like twenty to thirty percent finished condition, uh, butchered stocks. You know things like that. Really, really bad shape. Now these, which actually are imported from PW Arms, and are being sold from like DK Firearms. Um, I know Bud's Gun Shop is selling them. Palmetto, I think, had them in stock. Those are actually coming out of Italy, and you're getting the 91s, which are these, and the 9124s, which are these, and I'll explain the difference in a minute. Uh, they're actually coming out of uh, Italy as uh, refurbs from 1947, and they're actually, as you can see, in really good condition by comparison. Here's a, just a small sample up. And they're all, I mean, bluing on these rate about 80 to 90%. You are gonna find small cracks and stuff like that in the stocks. And some of them, not all of them. I think like half of these do, the other half don't. Now, the 91 was a adaptation, or, or it was, I'm sorry, an actual purpose-built uh, carbine rifle for ancillary personnel, vehicle drivers, artillery crew, cavalry personnel, things like that. And then after World War I, they wanted to implement more of these carbines into their service. They didn't want to have to make new purpose-built rifles because they had the long rifles, the Model 21s in inventory. So the 9124s were actually cut down long rifles, which they then turned into TS or the, the Troop Special. Uh, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> um, carbines, and you can notice the difference is right up here at the top with the barrel bands. That's how you know you're looking at a 9124 just versus a 91 standard model TS. So interesting thing there, if you do see this, these for sale and you are curious to know whether you're gonna get one of the Ethiopian ones from, um, from uh, IO or one of these nicer quality ones from PW Arms, I would just call up the retailer or the seller and just ask what import mark is on the gun. If it's a PW Arms gun, you're good to go. And that's what I recommend getting, especially because they're all selling online for about the same price. So anyway, I'll let you guys take a closer look at these. Pretty cool. These are of course Italian military 6 5 by 52 millimeter, 6.5 Carcano. Cool little carbines. It's nice to see these coming into the countries or into the country. Uh, Italian Carcanos have not been imported for a while. So nice to see those come in. One, go. A weapons engineer had the best score. Three hits in 5.2 seconds. All right, so Andy is a collector of Henry rifles. Right now we are enjoying Christmas in August with Andy. <laughs> Should be a some <film> series. <laughs> um, order, we ordered him a new Henry rifle. And Andy will tell you what it is as soon as he gets it out of there. 
nothing better than unpackaging a new Henry. This one is the 327 Federal Mag, or 32 H&H, or H&R Mag. Um, I had the full collection of brass fangs, or at least one of each caliber. Bought an eight gun cabinet, had all eight of them in there. And then Henry decided to add two more calibers. So, so Andy being Andy, what did you do? Bought them. <laughs> there you go. Now I gotta buy a 12 gun cabinet, so I've got room in case they do this again. And that is the but, science, if, if anybody wants to know what a gun that is, that's, that's it. Yeah, definitively we speaking, yes. <laughs> Oh, what is it exactly? It's a part of the big boy line? Yes, big boy brass. Okay, very nice. And um, how did you come by the other ones that you had? That was an interesting story. Um, well, actually, I ran three gun groups on Facebook at one point and got up one morning to a number of messages, guys complaining because somebody had posted five brass finish Henry's, but he'd only sell them as a set. They were all new in the box. And uh, I'm answering all these messages and explaining to the guys that, that, you know, it's his rifles. If he wants to sell them as a set, that's his prerogative. He doesn't absolutely need to separate them. My girlfriend at the time was also an ad man, and I was telling her what was going on, and she started looking, and she looked over at me and said, well, you know, you really ought to buy those. So I drove to a little town in southern Indiana called, of all things, Henryville, <laughs> and picked up five Henrys, and then scouted around and found the other three for the set. The 4570 was the unicorn. It took forever to get it. They only make a couple small runs a year. Mm -hmm. But as soon as the other one comes in, I'm up to all 10 again. There you go, until Henry, hopefully Henry's not watching this because you're keeping them in business, but well, they'll, they'll, come out, they'll come out with a 50 BMG if we're lucky. But, <laughs> and then you'll get it. That'd be different in a lever gun. Yep. Well, cool, very cool. All right, here I got in a transfer for a customer. This is a Redbox SIG 226. Again, I'm not gonna handle it that much, but 226, actually one of my top five favorite handguns. Uh, the red box SIGs, this would be like a refurb, if you will, if you will. so um, this one's a 40, some of them wasn't, but they would basically take, a, you know, old or used 226s and refurbish them at the factory so they look like new but had been previously owned. Uh, so is my understanding of the red box 226s. But anyway, really nice guns, and if you can find the red box 226s, like I said, they're in like new condition, and typically you find them at a pretty good discount. So cool to see that one come in. If you've never handled a 226, excellent, excellent hand guns. All right, got in another transfer for a customer of ours. This is another Wasser 10. You guys saw one of these on last week's video. The funny thing about this one is this one actually came from Michiko. Uh, my customer bought this from him. So um, if you guys watch Michiko, he's got really, really good content. So he actually is a gun dealer like I am and uh, it was funny to unbox it and see his FFL and information in the box so I thought I would put up one of Michiko's guns give him a little shout out here so if you're watching we got your uh, rifle here and we called the customer and he's uh, happy to get it from you so he said he had a pleasant phone call with you on the phone so, anyway there is that and yet another transfer will get logged in and out here to another happy AK owner all right, just got in a trade on something here. I actually had a Bergara uh, B14 HMR, which you guys will see on an upcoming uh, you know, weekly gun review video, but a real quick overview of this. This is a Rock Island VR60 12 gauge, AR12 style 12 gauge semi-automatic with detachable box magazine. So again, I won't go into too much detail here, but these are actually metal. Most of these types of things you see are uh, polymers. Really nice quality. But anyway, interesting to get in. And of course, it's always a good day when you bring in an M1 Garand 30-06. Really, really nice condition. Again, more details on this one in an upcoming weekly used gun review. But beautiful condition. It is a H and R, so I'll tell you that. But again, more details to come. Okay, now to close out these videos, I like to just give a, I'm gonna give sort of a weekly update with supply and traffic. 
like we did last week, really not a lot has changed. Um, our traffic is staying pretty consistent. A lot of people are still coming in, calling, looking for things. I'm sure a lot of you guys in your local areas are doing the same thing. Um, intake of used firearms is pretty consistent uh, the way it has been. Uh, new firearms, I am starting to get more stuff more frequently, especially more desirable stuff. Like I got in some Glocks finally. Uh, I did this week get in some AR-15s. I got a, the Banshee that you guys saw. So I am getting some desirable stuff. This, um, Burst, as you saw last week, most of that stuff's gone. The stuff's flying off the shelf. Carcanos that I started this video with, I only have two left already. So, I mean, stuff is going very, very quickly. Um, and that hasn't really changed. Ammunition, I am going to do a dedicated video on the ammunition supply thing. There was a call with Vista Outdoors on their earnings report. And of course, they own CCI, uh, the Blazer brands and uh, federal uh, ammunition. And they had some really interesting insights on ammunition and some supply, uh, the way that they're sort of redirecting supply in a couple ways. But I'm gonna go into that uh, on its own dedicated video. I will probably film that tomorrow and upload it maybe Friday or Saturday, sometime around there. So be looking out for that. I'm also working on a video on my Marksman radio channel. So if you're not subscribed over there, please go ahead and do that. Also on my analytics, I noticed that about 13% of my viewers are actually subscribing to my channel. So if you guys would really do me a favor, if you do come here frequently, you like these videos, uh, please go ahead and subscribe up. I would really appreciate that. The numbers help boost us in the rankings and on searches and whatnot like that. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off with that. I am Chris. Andy had to actually take off a little bit early today. I do have little Andy here for you. A lot of you guys are asking, little Andy is the gnome. No, he's not for sale. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you off there. I'm Chris with Marksman Shooting Sports in Westfield, Indiana. You are watching Marksman TV. I'll see you next time.